Whether your students are completing written assignments or preparing powerful presentations, you, the teacher, can provide feedback inside Microsoft Word Online and PowerPoint Online using the comment feature. The comment feature allows you to provide timely, meaningful feedback that is tied directly to the task that the student is performing or producing. Let's take a closer look. Let's start in Microsoft Word Online. So here I've opened a sample of student work in Microsoft Word Online. And in this case, the student was answering the question about the water cycle. How does water move through Earth's systems in the water cycle? Notice that the student begins to tell us about the four systems that water moves through in the process of the water cycle. But as I proceed to read further on, I find that I need more detail about, let's say, the hydrosphere. I can simply provide that feedback by inserting a comment. To insert a comment, I can simply highlight the term hydrosphere and in this floating toolbar, click New Comment. Here, a new comment box will open or a new thread will open, and I can go ahead and start typing my feedback. Now, I could post this feedback and the student would see it when they open up this assignment, or I could notify them that they have feedback waiting or a comment waiting for them in this particular assignment. To notify the student directly, I simply at mention them. To at mention someone, you simply type the at symbol followed by their name. And this time when I click post, the little paper airplane icon here at the bottom right corner, this message is going to be sent directly to Ben. Now, Ben will be able to open that notification and come into the assignment and reply. And again, if he wants to at mention me, I'll receive a notification that he's viewed the comment and has replied. Let's switch to PowerPoint. So inside PowerPoint, commenting works very similarly. I can simply find the slide on which I want to give more feedback to my student. So let's say that my student needs to work on providing clearer examples of time. I could simply highlight the statement, and again, in that floating toolbar that appears, simply click New Comment. And again, I could at mention the student so that they get a notification of the feedback provided and I could go ahead and enter my feedback. Now, aside from highlighting a specific sentence or word or phrase, you can also simply click comments up here in the top right corner and click new to add a comment. This will add a comment attached to this particular slide. If I go back to Word, I can do the same thing. I do not have to highlight any terms or phrases. I could simply start a new comment thread by clicking the new button when I click comments in the top right corner. Let's just close these comments. I'm just gonna discard that new comment. I just want you to notice here in Word that when the student comes in to view his or her assignment, they will see this little comment icon where comments have been left. They can simply click on this icon to view the comment. The student can then reply to the feedback given by the teacher or simply resolve the feedback by clicking on the three dots of the comment and clicking resolve thread. The student would then click the little garbage can symbol to delete the thread in order to remove the comment from his or her document.